I'm so excited. My costume is so nice. I can't wait for you to see it. Well, I have worked on my date and not just slaved over it. Shut up. Mine is Versace. Wang is a truly an original. Well, mine has never been seen before. No one has ever been this for Halloween before. Well, shut up. Let's get seen it. Three, two, one. It's Brenda. And it's Shirley. And you're watching the, the Brenda, Brenda and Shirley, Shirley Show. Show. Fucking hit me one more time. I'm going to suck in the face. I have your fingerprints engraved into my cheek. Good. I have never in my life felt a like this. We welcome you here to our channel and we hope that you subscribe before you leave. Especially Patrick Star's channel because he's just absolutely Every positive and gorgeous. And follow my Twitter since I'm more popular at Nasty Brenda. Or you can follow Shirley's Twitter because it's the better Twitter who's actually active on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Today on my channel, we are going to be making bell pepper pumpkins. Halloween themed, of course, because tis the season of Halloween. Shirley's favorite. It is. I just love bringing the devil out in me. And on Patrick Star's channel, Brenda made lovely bitch cupcakes. Witch cupcakes. Bitch cupcakes. So mean to me. I'm not. Let's get right into this recipe. How do you make this easy? Well, if you would have just given me a split hair of a second, I could let you know. We're going to start with the ingredients that you will need for the bell pepper pumpkins. First, you're gonna need two big old pieces of chicken. Chicken. Bell peppers, preferably orange ones because they are pumpkins. Cheese, shredded cheese. cheese of your likings. Brenda, if you could just hold off I'm for a hungry. minute. I'm hungry. You will need Uncle Ben's rice, and Uncle Ben is a good looking fella. You'll also need some chili peppers and diced tomatoes, as well as some black beans that will cause Brenda to shit bullets. Anyways, for the spices, you're gonna need some peppercorn, peppercorn. garlic, salt. Cumin, Cumin and some chili powder. Chili powder. So last night we took out our crack pot and we're crock, gonna prepare. Crock, that's a crock pot, not a crack pot. It's a crack, crack, crock, it's the same thing. It is far from the same thing. Crocs are those shoes. Crocs, crock, crock, crocs are the shoes, you're right, it's a crack pot. Crack pot, so bust out your crack pot. Don't do drag teeth. Do crack and break your mama's back. So in the crock pot, you're gonna wanna add chicken to the bottom of the slow cooker. And you're gonna sprinkle it with the seasonings, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then you're gonna add it with a diced tomato and grain chili. Just sprinkle them right on top. After you're gonna top it off and cook it on low for six to eight hours. Or high for four to six hours. If you want it a little bit faster. And when you're done, shred the chicken and allow it to remain in the sauce. Get out of my kitchen, who are you? He's a producer. We him. This woman is in here with facial hair. <laughs> yes, so get out. No, talk about her. I'm gonna preheat the oven at 350 for the peppers because we're gonna bake them. And once your chicken is done cooking the next day, preferably you wanna go ahead and shred it. You're gonna wanna shred it like so and make sure I'm it's the well prepared. Shredder. It smells actually real delicious. Mm. Crock pots are so easy to do. Do it the night before, set it, and <laughs> forget it. You're such your life. It gets better than I. <laughs> Like I said, you can shred the chicken and you can set it and... Forget it! Yes, that's right, Charlotte. We love this crock pot, which is by... <laughs> crock pot! The original slow cooker! What's great about this original slow cooker is that you can set it on high for four to six hours or low for eight to ten for that great, delicious recipe. You can find our recipes on Nasty Shirley and Nasty Brenda. So what you want to do first is gut your little pumpkin. She'll just cut the top off with an exacto knife. And remember to have an adult at hand. That's what I'm here for. Just cut that top right off, Brenda. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and cut the little seeds off the top, just as Brenda's doing, and go ahead and clean out those insides. They are just stuff full. So as we do the paste, we're going to want to do it with an exacto knife. It looks like this. And we're going to go ahead and cut out those cute pumpkin face. So we're just gonna go to town and just stab these little eyeballs right on out. Just cut them out. You don't even have to be neat with it. I guarantee you it'll turn out perfect every time. And as she's doing that ugly snackle tooth face of a pumpkin, <gasps> I've set aside some boiling water. So right after we do this, we're gonna set them aside to soften. And just like that, every time you will have the cutest plum little pumpkin. Any birdie? 
And this is what you should end up with is some cute snack of tooth face pumpkins. Mine was inspired by her niece, Laura Lee. Uh, snack of tooth Ain't that Laura. sweet, Brenda? <laughs> in my hair. You want to boil this on the stove for five to ten minutes. On the stove, so carry it on over there, please. Thank you. Don't spill. I've been here all day. I've, I've been, been here, here all night. night. This crock pot got me swinging all mm -hmm. from side to side. So while the peppers are boiling, we have enough time to mix the rest of the ingredients for the crock, crack, crock pot. First, we're gonna go ahead and add that cooked rice. Then we're gonna add some beans. And next, the best part is shredded cheese. Get that cheese in there. Mmm, I love cheese. Move. Can I try some? We should do a taste taste. Let me feed you. Can't be eating it all now. Well, mmm. Delicious, as I thought. That is really good, by the way. Mm. Now that our food is ready, we have our crock pot mix as well as our pumpkin peppers. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna take out a simple baking sheet loud with Reynolds foil, and we're gonna place the pumpkin peppers. They're not real pumpkins, y'all. Don't get them confused. We're just gonna place these soft suckers onto a dish, and we're gonna stuff them ever so gently. For added yumminess, Brenda loves extra cheese. I love cheese. And you're gonna bake your little pumpkin peppers 350 for 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes, y'all. Or until they're nice and tender. Or 30 minutes. Or nice and tender. Or 30 minutes. And this is the final look. Here are our pumpkin inspired, inspired bell peppers stuffed to its capacity. They're so <laughs> delicious. Let's take a bite. Uh Mmm, we can't wait to try this. Very good. Bone appetite, gonna look Halloween. It's like bones, Halloween. Shut up, just shut up and shove it in my mouth. <laughs> you shove it in my mouth. And you shove it in my mouth. Oh, shut up. Uh, Nasty uh, red. Just uh, uh, mm. Mm. These were so good. And don't forget to check out my friend Brenda's channel. We hope you try them at home. Be sure to follow us and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. When life gives you mess. Come to BS! I'm Brenda. And I'm Shirley. Until next time. Toodles! Hey, more better. better.